Good morning, you guys, and happy Wednesday. It's 7.45 in the morning, and I'm headed to work. I don't really think I know what I'm filming this for. Maybe I'll do a day in the life. Kind of just felt like vlogging today. Not quite sure why, but maybe that's a sign to just do it and see what happens. I hear some worship music and sip on my coffee. Here's me at four, almost five o'clock at night. Did not vlog anything today because I completely forgot. All throughout my day, I taught and didn't even think to pick up my camera. But I do want to add that today I went to my one of my students invited me to his baseball game today, and so I showed up and watched them play. And during that time, one of my students, one of my female students, um, she was there supporting with her mom and i kind of was chatting with her and her mom on and off throughout the game and then towards the very end i was just like standing up cheering and talking to the boys on the bench and the mom my student's mom came up to me we were just talking long story short towards the end i was telling her how i had to leave so i could go home and cook dinner and get ready for church and she was like oh what church do you go to and so she i ended up finding out she goes to the same church as me and if you watched my video of me hearing God and how he reassured me that this is where I need to be, I just think that's crazy because um, that's another sign. So we exchanged numbers and she was happy to just hear that I went to the same church, sir. And she also told me that there was no church tonight. And I thought there was because I'm used to a church that has church Sunday and, when and Wednesday nights. But this church doesn't. I have it every Wednesday night. And this was my the first Wednesday that it has not had it since I've been there. So I thought that was crazy. And I just wanted to show you guys that God is still confirming that I need to be at this church. Because he's now building friendships inside of his home and people. And I just, it's just crazy. Good morning, you guys. Um, gotta, gotta get to work. Um, I'm already running late. It's 8 o'clock. So talk to you guys in a second. All right, you guys, I want to share this with you guys while I rush myself to work. I am definitely late today, and that is, whoa, 8.20? I got to call the office and let them know that I'm late. <laughs> Before I start my worship, I call the office manager to let her know I'm running late, and she was like, oh, no worry, I'll try to find coverage. Everybody's running late today, and I'm, I'm sure it's the weather. Like, well, I know why I'm running late, but I'm pretty sure everyone else is running late because of the weather. Like, everyone, nobody knows how to drive when it's raining. All right, I made it to work. Um, very much late. I am going to eat my breakfast, which is some oatmeal, overnight oats with strawberries. I am also going to prep because this is my prep period. Almost done with this book, by the way. Maybe in another life. I am on page 260 out of 336. I've been bringing this to work because during my downtime, especially the past two days, my students have been taking quizzes online. So while they're taking their quiz, I am quietly reading on my own. And it's been nice to just kind of get some reading done without having to like be working while I'm at work already. So I'm gonna take advantage of that time. And if I continue to get my, whatever's on my checklist done during my prep period, I'll read at the end, so. So everything on my checklist is now done. I just need to cut out these papers, but everything else, I think I'm all done. I need to explain this quick story to you guys because I don't want to forget to tell you, but I think it's just so cool how God works and I just feel like he's telling me something, but I don't know what. All right, so while I cut, I'm going to explain to you guys what's going on. So on Monday, as you guys kind of have, I mean, if you don't know, every, mon every morning I do, I wake up at 5.30 and I do my Bible study. And on Monday, I was started my Bible study, but then my dad called and was just talking with me. And I ended up staying on the phone with him so long that 
I did not have the time to um, finish my Bible study. So I was like already in a rushing, like not irritated mood, but just like, it just isn't the, like your day. My day just doesn't go the same when I don't finish my time with God. So I'm already like in my head, like, man, I didn't finish my Bible study. I feel like a little off. And so as I'm on my way to work, I'm going the same way I usually go, except there's like this little shortcut to avoid some traffic. And so I get ready to turn there and there's a bus in front of me that turns there. And so in my head, I'm thinking the bus is gonna like delay the traffic or I don't know. I just felt like there was a lot of cars along with the bus turning in that same, in that same area. So I just really wasn't feeling it. So I stay straight. And as I stay straight, I see that there's a cop behind me and close to this freeway entrance, I do this like, I pass the stop sign and I do a U-turn so i can avoid traffic but on this day i didn't do that because there was a cop behind me so i just stayed straight to the next light so i can get on the freeway so that kind of threw me off not only the bus me i could have literally turned at the bus and just waited but because there wasn't traffic that way i just was being impatient and then the cop being behind me caused me to take a route i usually don't take and so it was just all over the place on monday so Tuesday comes around, I'm going on my same normal route, and there's a cop again, but this time it's in front of me. And I was like, okay, I'm just paying attention, being aware. Um, not sure any relevance, but I just, I'm just i just noticing it. Day three, which is Wednesday, I'm driving, and this time I see the cop passing in front of me. I'm at the light, getting ready to turn in the same direction as the cop. And so I was like, interesting. And then day four the cop passes me on the other side like i don't know there's something with this cop it's like the same highway police officer like truck or whatever like i see four days in a row and on the fourth day i was actually running late to work so i'm like how does this even happen like what is the significance with this this cop i really don't know but there's something there i just don't know what and if i find out i will share with you guys but i just think it's odd and and there's something about it that's sticking out to me. Like, why am I seeing the same cop car every morning ever since the day that I just was having a rough start to my day? I even was in the car praying that morning, like, I don't like how I'm feeling. Like, change me, help me feel, feel good about this day ahead. Like, don't let one thing about my day throw my whole day off. And so it's just odd that, like, God's moving in a way that I have no idea, but I know it's him. There's something significant about this cop car. I just don't know what. Good morning, you guys. I got a story to tell y'all. Really, Let me quickly tell you guys about my another God moment today. Well, this actually happened yesterday, which was February 5th. And um, I'm gonna tell you really quickly cause it's once again raining and I don't wanna be driving and vlogging. But <clears throat> yesterday morning around 9.30, um, my watch like, I don't know if I, if it made a vibration or if I just noticed the, the screen was on, but I happened to look down at my watch around 9.30 and I saw that there was an image pulled up and all I saw was the shape of the image and in the center it said God. And I was not talking to my my watch. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was actually in the back of the classroom, just walking around. And I think I was printing. I can't. I don't know. But I just know I wasn't doing anything or talking to anyone about anything, or trying to get serious attention or anything. And it wasn't a text message. Nobody texted this to me. I looked down at my watch and I see this image. I'll insert it. Um, and I grab my phone and I try to take a quick picture. Um, so I can like just see like shows people like look at look what popped up right and I didn't by the time I got my phone out to take a picture the image had already left and it just like kind of went to sleep so when I opened or woke up my phone or uh, when I woke my watch up the picture was gone and so I told myself like oh I'm gonna remember to look up that picture later this was at nine o'clock in the morning if you know me you know my memory is trash these days and I can't remember things that happened earlier in the same day like I struggle to remember stuff and so I'm on my way home from work which is like four o'clock because I had a meeting yesterday after work and so I'm driving home from work and that just popped right back in my head that image just popped in my head and I was like let me look this up really quick so I just searched who is God because all I remember seeing was like a triangle a triangle 
and air, like not arrows I don't know I just remember seeing a triangle and the word God in the center I didn't really look at it because I wanted to take a picture really fast and so and so I look up who is God and I scroll down a little bit on Google images and like maybe the fifth or sixth picture it I got cut off I'm not sure why but anyways I save it to my phone and I hear the Holy Spirit telling me to share this and then whenever God moments like this happen I usually share it with my husband my mom and my sister and so I send the picture to my husband and I'm like, remind me to tell you about this picture when you get home, because I know I will forget. I also send it to my sister and I'm like, hey, read, um, look at this and then give me a call. And then when I get home from work, I told my mom. They all thought it was like crazy how like, what are the odds that like God is just like showing up like in those random moments. So the day, this is at four o'clock, okay? A little bit after four when I'm sharing the news to my brother or to my sister, my, my mom and my husband. Later on that night, I go out for a late trip to grab some wipes with uh, my oldest two kids. On the way home, God tells me, share this with your friends. I share this with my two best friends. And tell me why my friend Destiny sends me back a picture. Well, she asks me what time this happened, and I tell her it was about 9.30. She sends me back a picture of a book she was reading to her class that same day at 2 o'clock. That was, I'll, I'll insert a picture here because I don't remember word for word, but it was basically talking about the God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I just know that's God. I'm like, what are the odds that he tells me to send this to my friend and my friend has encountered pretty much an identical story in her own eyes to what I experienced. Like God is so real, you guys. And it's just crazy how he is just magic. Like he's sprinkling over these senses of him all over my life. And he's telling me to share his word. And I'm doing it, you guys. I'm being obedient and I'm just sharing these stories that have been happening to me and letting God move in those people's lives however he wants I'm just doing my part and even if I don't know the reason behind things I'm doing my part and I'm being obedient I'm listening and I'm looking and I'm connecting the dots and I'm making I'm making sense of everything that's going on and so I have to share that I got to work yesterday and one of my students was not feeling his best he was kind of upset that his mom was in the hospital and he felt very worried and anxious about her being in the hospital and so I kept I, I told him like she's gonna be okay like not to stress about it not to worry about it and it's just funny because the day prior um, we had just talked about how to cope with situations such as hospital emergencies and death and all these other um, life events and his response was play video games and so I had told him it's gonna be okay like don't stress like your mom's gonna be fine it might just be something that she needs to be looked out for and I told him I was like just play your video games like things will be okay and then at the end of the class he was actually the last one out and I told him um, that I would be praying for him and his family which I did and I will continue to until I hear anything other like better news from what's happening and I told him I would pray for him, which I already had prayed for him before he even told me that, or before I even told him that, but God was telling me to pray with him, and just because I don't actually know, like, my policy as a teacher and working for the district on um, religion, which I shouldn't even, even be overthinking it, if God told me to do it, I should have just did it, and I do feel like I'm beating myself up about it because I truly think that was an opportunity for me to just start spark something new in his life and I chose to handle it my own way which is making me feel a little bad but um if if God tells me again pray for him then I'm listening I'm gonna listen I'm not one to really be praying over people like often especially to them but maybe this is what God's way of using me and showing me like why can't you just pray you pray all day long why can't you pray for someone else with them so that's what i will do if god is speaking to me this um this morning and i get to work and if he's um in need of a prayer even if he says no i didn't even offer him that opportunity to tell me no i i told myself no which i should have just let him tell me yes or no instead of my own thoughts so God's just still working in me and using me, and eventually this video has to come to an end. I just don't know when, so.
funny. Stop faking it. Mom, I need the fat day. Um.